Hello musical friends! Today we're going to be learning about the instruments of the orchestra through storytelling and one of my favorite pieces of music, Peter and the Wolf. You'll get to see a duck played by an oboe and a big bad wolf played by French horns. How many instruments of the orchestra can you name? Hey CWC, I'm Miss McMillian and welcome to music class. Today we're going to listen to and watch a little bit of one of my favorite pieces of music and it's called Peter and the Wolf and it's by the composer Sergei Prokofiev. So this is a piece of music that was written to tell a story as well as teach you a little bit about the instruments of the orchestra. So, it's a little windy here. The composer wrote the music and the story that goes with it and the music is used as a tool to tell the story. If you were to see an orchestra performing this piece of music, they would play a little bit and then pause and someone would narrate, someone would speak the parts, they'd tell the story, and then a little bit of music would play, and then some story, music, story, music. So it's a really cool experience if you ever get the chance to go see a live performance of this, of an orchestra doing it. So this is a story about a little boy who goes in the woods and there's a wolf who eats a duck. <laughs> You'll see what I'm talking about. But the important thing in this piece is that each character, each animal that comes into the story is represented by a different instrument of the orchestra. And they have a different theme for each character. So for example, there's the bird. The bird is represented by the flute. And every time the bird comes into the story, we either hear the exact bird theme when it's introduced, which is this little nice high, little trilling ditty, is the bird theme. And then when anything happens with the bird later in the story, there's variations on that bird theme. The flute's always involved. So each character is, while the action's happening, their instrument is playing and doing something to represent what that character is doing. It's really cool to listen to. So the first thing I want to show you is what these sound what these sound like, what instruments play each character, who the characters are and what their themes sound like. So I'm gonna show you a little clip of an orchestra and they introduce the character, what instrument plays them, and what that theme sounds like. So when we are going to watch a little bit of a movie later, you can recognize that theme when the bird comes in, you hear that bird theme and you hear the flute playing. So take a look at those right now so you can see which instruments are which characters. One last thing, while you're watching, I want you to think about how each of those instruments makes sense for the character that they're representing. Why does a flute make sense for a bird? Why does a clarinet make sense for a cat? Why does a bassoon make sense for the grandfather? Is it because of how loud they are, how soft they are, how deep they sound, or how high, how low they, they are pitched? What about them makes them make sense for that character? Because I don't know about you, but I don't think it would make sense to have those big kettle drums representing the little tiny bird or the bassoon representing the little tiny boy. So think about why those make sense as you're listening. Now you can watch it. Each character in this story is represented by a different instrument. The bird by the flute. The duck by the oboe. The cat by the clarinet. The grandfather by the bassoon. The wolf is represented by three hideous, nasty, 
ugly, smelly French horn. is represented by the strings of the orchestra. And the rifle shots are represented by the timpani and the big bass drum. So now that you've seen that, we're going to watch a clip, and it's a little cartoon. It's a pretty old cartoon, so the animation's a cool old style that I actually am really into. And it's going to be telling the story of Peter and the Wolf. If you were to see a full performance of this, it takes about 30 minutes. So we're not going to watch the whole thing today, but I'm actually going to link in the comments a couple different versions that are really cool that we'll talk about at the end. For right now, we're going to watch a little condensed version. It's only about six minutes long as opposed to the whole piece. So it doesn't play all of the music, and it just kind of condenses down the story a little bit. So it's shorter, and it fits in a little cartoon. But you will still see all the different animals and characters introduced, and you will still hear their themes come in. Most of the music is those character themes, but you'll also hear their character instruments come back when those characters are interacting with each other. For example, if the bird's interacting with the wolf, you might hear the bird instrument and the wolf instrument. While you're watching, try to remember what instruments those are that are representing each of those characters. So without further ado, take a look at this really cool cartoon. Now bright one morning, Peter opened the gate and went out into the big green meadow. On a branch of a big tree sat a little bird, Peter's friend. All is quiet, chirped the bird gaily. Just then, a duck came waddling round. She was glad that Peter hadn't closed the gate and decided to take a nice swim in the deep pond in the meadow. They argued and argued. The duck swimming in the pond, the little bird hopping along the shore. Suddenly, something caught Peter's attention. He noticed a cat crawling through the grass. Oh, look out, shouted Peter, and the bird immediately flew up into the tree. While the duck quacked angrily at the cat, Grandfather came out. He was angry because Peter had gone into the meadow. It's a dangerous place. If a wolf should come out of the forest, then what would you do? Peter paid no attention to his grandfather's words. Boys like him are not afraid of wolves. But grandfather took Peter by the hand, led him home, and locked the gate. Sooner had Peter gone than a big grey wolf did come out of the forest. In a twinkling, 
The cat climbed up the tree. The duck quacked and, in her excitement, jumped out of the pond. But no matter how hard the duck tried to run, she couldn't escape the wolf. He was getting nearer, nearer, catching up with her. And then he got her, and with one gulp, swallowed her. In the meantime, Peter, without the slightest fear, stood behind the closed gate, watching all that was going on. Ran home, got a strong rope, and climbed up the high stone wall. One of the branches of the tree round which the wolf was walking stretched out over the wall. Grabbing hold of the branch, Peter lightly climbed over onto the tree. Peter said to the bird, fly down and circle round the wolf's head. Only take care that he doesn't catch you. The bird almost touched the wolf's head with his wings, while the wolf snapped angrily at him from this side and that. How the bird worried the wolf and how the wolf wanted to catch him. But the bird was clever, and the wolf simply couldn't do anything about it. <laughs> Meanwhile, Peter made a lasso, and carefully letting it down, caught the wolf by the tail, and pulled with all his might. Feeling himself caught, the wolf began to jump wildly, trying to get loose. <laughs> Peter tied the other end of the rope to the tree. And the wolf's jumping only made the rope round his tail tighter. Just then, the hunters came out of the woods following the wolf's trail and the shooting as they went. But Peter, sitting in the tree, said, Don't shoot. Birdie and I have caught the wolf. Now help us to take him to the zoo. Imagine the triumphant procession. At the head. After him, the hunters leading the wolf. And winding up the procession, Grandfather and the cat. I think it's super cute and really cool because you get to explore those instruments of the orchestra. So can you remember all the instruments that were represented here? What instrument was the character of the bird? What about Peter? What about the duck? Can you remember who played the cat? The wolf? Grandfather? See, was there any other characters I'm missing in there? Oh, there was the Huntsman. Do you remember who was the Huntsman? See how many of those you can remember and what instruments were and what those instruments look like. If you don't remember what they look like, go back to the beginning with that video with the symphony orchestra and you can actually see someone playing those instruments and what it looks like while that music's happening. So, 
The last thing I'm going to give you is an assignment is those videos that I talked about a little earlier that are a couple different examples of how you can perform this piece of music. One of them I'm going to link is the full orchestral, orchestral performance by that group you watched in the beginning that gave samples. I can, I'm going to link that. And that's just, you'll watch the orchestra perform it. That one's actually really funny because the, the director, the conductor, words are very hard. The conductor of that orchestra is very funny and hilarious to watch and listen to. So that's a really cool version to look. And then probably my favorite version that I've seen right now on the internet, I'll also link in the, in the comments or description is by the Royal Ballet School and they did a fully choreographed performance of this piece of music with a storyteller, all, all children playing all the parts, so people your age, kids your age, performing all the characters and dancing. So if you're into dance or even if you're not, it's a really cool version to go and take a look at. So take a look at one or both of those and see if you can remember the instruments that you're hearing and have fun time. I'll see you next time. Bye. Now that you've seen how the characters of the story are described through their instrumental counterparts, take a look at a full performance of Peter and the Wolf by Sergei Prokofiev. Your assignment is to choose a performance of the piece to watch, either the full orchestra or the choreographed ballet. Both video links can be found in the description of this video. Email me if you have any questions and have a great week.